very often we question, what line of research should we pursue to advance the field of religion, spirituality, and science, religion, spirituality, and health? Actually, nowadays, uh, there is basically no doubt about the relationship between spirituality, religiosity, and health. There are actually thousands of studies showing uh, positive and negative correlations of religious involvement and health, usually positive uh, correlation with positive health outcomes. There is no much need anymore of more studies just showing that there is some relationship between health and religiosity, for example. We will discuss here some uh, possible research lines that can be fruitful for future investigation. One is regarding the mechanisms of impact of religion and spirituality on health. We know that there is a correlation between health and religiosity, but we don't understand well how it happens. What are the mechanisms that mediate the influence of religious involvement into health outcomes? So this is definitely one very worthwhile line of investigation. The second one, we know a lot about the correlation between health and religiosity, but we don't understand well, we don't know well how to integrate this knowledge into clinical practice. Regarding clinical practice, clinical integration of spirituality, there are some aspects that deserve further investigation, such as the assessment. How should I assess the spirituality of my patient? The differential diagnosis. How could I differentiate between a uh, spiritual experience and a mental disorder that can simulate a spiritual experience? How should I, and if I should, integrate spirituality into treatment of patients? And how religious treatment can help or do harm to patients? And finally, regarding training. How should clinicians be trained to deal with religion and spirituality? in their patients. Also, another aspect important in research is that most of the research data that we have nowadays, by large, were produced in North America and Europe, basically Western Christian societies. We need to enlarge the geographic and cultural diversity of studies. So there is a strong, a urgent need of more studies performed in different places with different cultures to see what are the similarities and the difference with the current knowledge that we have based on uh, North America and Europe. Another research line that deserves further investigation is the relationship between the brain and spiritual experience. There has been some studies investigating the brain correlates of spiritual experience, but we need to go much further. We need to try to understand how brain correlates or works during spiritual experience. Some people believe that the brain is the ultimate source of spiritual experience. Some others believe that the brain are sometimes the instrument or the tools for, the, for my, the manifestation of spiritual experience. So we definitely need to understand this. And I, I strongly believe that the investigation in depth of spiritual experience can help us a lot in the advancing our, our understanding of the mind-brain relationship. And finally, the last but not least, we need, to, we need for a comprehensive theoretical model to make sense of all the data on spirituality and health. We, we don't have yet good theoretical models that can explain the whole range of spiritual experience, the impact of this experience in human, human brain, human behavior, human health, and so on. So a good to, to develop and test good theoretical models is something definitely worthwhile. So these are some research lines that can help us to advance the knowledge in spirituality, religiosity, and health in helping to understand us, human nature, human beings, and in pursuing better health to all of us.